Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to Crypto Comics. You remember this guy? We covered this, uh, we covered this last year. Back in September, we did the whole Comics Greatest World Run from Dark Horse. And this was X, one of the most popular characters to come out of the Comics Greatest World universe. You know, comic, comic book superheroes were so hot back then that these companies that would publish completely independent random books, like, you know, they would publish... Terminator, but they also published Predator, and they also published Dark Horse Presents that would have random stories in it, and just totally random selections of comic books that each book was its own self-contained universe. And the comic book industry got so hot because, you know, Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee and Todd McFarlane and those, those guys, uh, that everybody had to introduce a new universe filled with superheroes, and of course Dark Horse is going to have a darker bend to it, and... X is definitely one of the most indelible characters to come out of that. And so I was going to go through this. I thought it'd be fun to revisit X. New York Comic Book Spectacular back in 94. There we go. You know, this is obviously Dark Horse's probably pride and joy would be that they published Sin City for Frank Miller. And I was totally going to go through this one. Um, but, you know, I'll tell you what happened. I read it. It was fine. This was fine. Oh, this no. I would I would try to find that, sure. Um, but it's just more of X fighting. And I picked this up at the comic shop, and right behind it was this guy right here. And I said, well, what, well, what, well, what, what, what? So I grabbed this, Fight or Flight. And this, uh, <laughs> this is a cut above. This book is a, a piece of art. And so we're going to go through it today on Crypto Comics. Fight or Flight. When Duroc and Herford assembled a small militia of Arcadia's hired killers, planning to put the meddlesome X-Killer to rest once and for all, X ambushed them with a shower of bullets and a bag full of nails. Leo Pytrain, third member of the late criminal triumvirate, holed up in a state-of-the-art panic room in his penthouse. It gave X a beating, but it couldn't keep him out. Day one. The old man, 73 years old. Worked the docks of Arcadia until he ruined his right knee in a cargo lift accident. Even then he stayed on, doing security for the warehouses that dotted the river. The old man held on even when everyone else moved away. His employers, the shops he patronized, even all of his relatives. Arcadia is my home, he said. Nobody's scaring me away from it. That is, until he saw something that convinced him that maybe it was time to move. What's that, Smedley? You see something, good boy? Oh, seeing lots of familiar faces here. It's like a damn variety pack of breakfast cereal. At least two of every kind of killer in town. Looks like somebody threw a big hitman convention then promptly canceled it with buckets of bullets. If we round up their surviving competition, we'll find our shooter. We just lifted up the heads of the guys in the caddy and, uh, well, you'd uh, better just see this for yourself, Captain Wilder. Damn. That's brutal. Forget everything I just said. We clean this up, down to the last bullet casing, dump the bodies in the usual places, then torch the building. Not a word of this to anyone. Not your girlfriend, not your bartender, certainly not the god dang prim- Wait, 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 wait. Who the hell was that? Don't you idiots have someone posted at the door? Freeze! Damn it! Once you see something that horrific, it becomes impossible to unsee. Mr. Lanzetti, it's me. Can you please let me in? It's open. What? What are you doing? Miss Ferguson. Please, I've told you so many times. It's Lay. Miss Ferguson, you saw what was in that warehouse, right? You confirmed that it wasn't the delusions of a pre-Alzheimer's mind, correct? That's quite enough for me. I had been spending time with the old man, who's one of the last holdouts in a ruined neighborhood. Every afternoon, he'd pour rail vodka into a jelly jar, garnish it with a bread and butter pickle, his version of a martini, and tell me about Arcadia's good old days. But that morning, he'd phone me drunk and frightened out of his mind and urge me to go to the docks, Warehouse 10. By the time you read this post, my dear concerned citizen, Warehouse 10 will have burned to the ground. The official explanation will most likely be arson or accident. The old man will never say what he saw inside that warehouse, but I will, just as soon as I've uncovered the truth. 
XOXO, the last muckraker. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Day two. Any last words, Pie Train? Or have you gotten them all out of your system? As it turns out, I beat you with a postage stamp. Greetings, concerned citizen. Remember how I said that I'd tell you the secrets of Warehouse 10 when I discovered the truth? Well, sometimes the truth falls in your lap. A piece of it, anyway. I know you guys, but where do I know? Holy crap, Leo Pie Train! Sorry, no press. I'm not press, I work in this building. Like hell you do. I know your face. You used to work for that evening journal rag before they did the right thing and pulled the pin. Whatever, I'm here to see Leo Pie Train. He's an old friend of mine. Well, your old friend's not available. No, I guess not. <laughs> you don't know you're getting fired. Mick, set us up again? Oh, hey, thanks. But yeah, I do know they were uh, dra draining the pool when uh, I arrived at work this morning. Told me to take the rest of the day off. So what happened up there? I mean, I'm hearing some crazy stories about Leo's face. His face ain't the strangest part. You said you partied with him, so I guess you know about the panic room, right? Somebody wanted Leo dead so bad they cracked him out of that thing. The thing was supposed to be unbreakable. No idea how they did it. And this is the day after his two pals go missing. I'm telling you. I'm out of a job. Two friends? Two friends? You know I avoid using real names in my column, concerned citizen. Lawyers cost a lot, and nobody's clicked the donate button in a while. So let's call them the Three Pigs. The Three Pigs were three very prominent businessmen here in Arcadia. I say were, because all three have gone missing or dead within the past two days. I can personally confirm the death of the third little piggy. And I have good reason to believe the first and second piggies are involved in the incident at Warehouse 10. These were no accidents. Someone wanted these men dead. But who? Now I'll bet you think that with a setup like the three pigs, I'm going to call the mysterious killer the big bad wolf or something. But for now, and I have a good reason that I can't quite share yet, let's just call him X. And the burning question that will keep me up all night? Who will X target next? Day three. Captain! Thank you for dropping by personally. You didn't have to do that. Of course I had to, Mr. Berkshire. You know I had to. I received this in the mail. My assistant tells me another one arrived last week, too. Only with a single slash mark marring my countenance. Should I be worried? We have it under control. Just some goofball trying to frighten businessmen. Probably one of those 99 percenter idiots. Thing is, Captain Wilder, I hear that some of my associates received similar photographs. And now they're dead. Okay, Mr. Berkshire. I'll spread the word to my men. We'll be setting up a protection detail for you at the Arcadia Grand. Spread the word? Why don't you just tattoo a fat frickin' target on my head? You're missing the point, Mr. Berkshire. We're not going to be painting the target on you. Holy shit, it's him! Oh, boom, 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 boom. The cops. That was way, way too fast. Your target should be easy to locate. He has a big damn X on his face. Feel free to put some X's over his eyes, too. I open that door. What am I going to find? Oh, Guillermo del Toro and Hollywood Chuck Hogan's The Strain, coming this fall. Hollywood Chuck Hogan, taking a dump. That's a free plug to Juggalo Championship Wrestling. There you go. Open it. No! And he just, like, shoots his hand off. I love it. Oh, the stump. Ah. Huh? Sounds like it's over before it began. Fire tower! He's in the fire tower! Spooch. Suspect is headed down towards you, Echo Team. Meet you in the middle, Charlie Team, over that son of a bitch's corpse. Good line. Oh, it sets up now. Nice. Putting some C4 in there, huh? And to think I considered selling my police scanner when I lost my job. What are you boys up to now? Okay. 
Guess every muckraker needs to dig through some literal muck every once in a while. I've got eyes on target! The hell? Oh my god, you are real. I I'm sorry, but they'll, they'll be down here any second and I, I have to know. A lock? Really? <laughs> Help me. Oh, to be continued. I like it. Oh, Ghost, Volume 1, The Smoke and Din. By Kelly Sue DeConnick. Hmm, well, I like this one. X, Fight or Flight. Man, this was solid. This was graphic and solid and very enjoyable comic book for grown folks. Feeling it. Uh, X has evolved quite a bit since he was first introduced in Comics Greatest World. And uh, it was nice to share this with you. I think uh, next weekend I will share another look at an updated Comics Greatest World character. Stay tuned for that here on Crypto Comics. If you like this video, thumbs up this video. If you're new, subscribe, hit the ding dong for notifications, and dive into the back issue bins and find yourself something else to watch that's enjoyable while you wait for your boy Crypto to return. Until next time, I remain your humble comic book servant, proudly taking you through this incredible journey, through the greatest comics and more of the 1990s. I will see you again in the future. Good night.